Today we want to cover in Blender how to import an STL file and then how to modify it. So when you first go into Blender, if you're not familiar with the software, over here in the top right, camera and light is something if you're not doing modeling, if you're making a scene. For cube, I'm just going to delete this. That's normally our starting point, but we have a starting point. We want to go to import. We're going to import an STL. I'm just going to go to a download here and uh, find something down here that I want. I think I had, a, there we go. Well, let's start with happy ditto. So we have a little ditto now that has come in. I'm going to move him over here. So this is now our kind of viewing plane right there. So we have our STL that is inside Blender. So no, if again, if you're not used to Blender, if you've never used it, up here, object mode is where you bring in objects, where I can scale objects, I can move objects. So nothing that you can really change dramatically here within object mode, but it's a really good place to view your objects, add them, add booleans. You can do some modifiers here in edit mode is where it starts to take this STO and really allow you to edit this in various ways. For example, here I can go to bisect. I can go um, cut first choose by hitting A, choose my little ditto. And then if I want, I can cut them in half. So bisect, you choose how you want to cut him. Then if you go to select, you can uh, do select inner region. And then if you go to, I think it's, is it edge? I know if you hit P for the shortcut, it is separate. That's what I remember. I forgot which one of these it's under. I'm going to hit P as in Philip, do selection. And now if I go back to object mode, my ditto is cut in two. So I can come up here, move that up. Now I've got two dittos, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo what I just did there just to show you kind of what can be done there in edit mode if you wanted. So I just hit control Z until I got back to edit mode. I uncut him in two. We've got sculpt mode. So sculpt mode allows you to look at your STL. And this is what I found most useful in editing STL files. So sculpt mode, you can use all types of different tools. For example, I'm going to grab here and let's say I wanted to just straight up, <laughs> this actually looks hilarious. Uh, let's say I wanted to just straight up give him a, a full on smile. So you see the little dot that allows you to choose that point, And that is what you're able to, in this case, I chose grab, you can grab. Now, if I wanted to go to, for example, inflate, I can go up here to his little hand, kind of inflate that a bit more or maybe inside his eye. You see some changes happening there, but I like snake hook, I like elastic deform here. I can make his little hand uh, farther or longer, almost looks more like a little ghost here. But you could clearly see I'm sculpting, I'm editing this STL file. This I find wildly useful, especially if you find something in STL file on Tinkercad, or maybe you find it on Thingiverse, and you just want to modify it a little bit, boom, this is how you can do it. Really easy to import, and then if you want to export, you can just go to object mode. Be sure that you have your object selected. So what can happen is we're gonna go to export, we're gonna hit STL file. Do note over here the settings on the right. So you can select selection only. If you have a bunch of files you imported at once and you don't do selection only, it's gonna export all of them, which it makes it difficult because it's a really large file and it could be a pain in the butt. So pay attention to these over here. Everything else is, is pretty standard. And then you just go export it wherever you would like. That's how very basically you import an STL file, you modify an STL file, and then you're off to bring that back into Cura. And then you're able to obviously slice it and 3D print it. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below. I love Blender. I hope you do too. And we'll see you next time.